Boys and girls, we are together again. Happy Sabbath. To our mummies and daddies, happy Sabbath. We welcome you. And to those who are viewing us for the first time, we are happy to have you. Yes, today is a beautiful Sabbath day. And I want to show off my friends to you today. These little red fishes, they are the Pleiades. The smaller ones are the Tetrex. And there's a rainbow fish hiding way behind there. You know, fishes love water. And that reminds me, there was a captain of an army who wasn't too pleased when he was told to go and dip. Listen to his story. If the weather is nasty, if the river is so stinky. Yes, this river is filthy. I came all the way from Damascus. We had many rivers, much better than this. I brought gifts for the king. I brought gifts for Elisha. And yet, he didn't have the courtesy to come out to me face to face and talk with me and let me know. But yet, he sent a servant to tell me to dip in this river, this filthy river, seven times. Stop that. Am I to just follow those instructions? <laughs> I really don't understand. I really don't. I ask, Lord, I beg of you that my master can go into that river and be healed. Lord, give him the courage, Lord. Please, Lord, please. <sighs> oh, hi, boys and girls. Didn't notice you all there. You may be wondering what's taking place. Well, the situation is a bit tense as you all could see, and my master is very angry. You all may be wondering why, so I'm going to give you all a little background of why he's so angry. Well, I am Ariah. I am the servant of Naaman. I am from Israel. I was taken captive from the Syrians and brought to my masters and brought to my master to work for his wife. My master is a great man. He's a very good man. In fact, he's very kind to me. But he's very sick. He's also the captain of the Syrian army. He is suffering from a disease called leprosy. We tried so many ways to help my master, but nothing works. We carried him by healers nothing with. I watched my master cry day and night, suffering from a lot of pain. And it's very hurtful to watch. But God reminded me of a man named Elisha. He was a great prophet from Israel. I told my master about Elisha and he hesitated. He thought about it, but then he went. When he went to Elijah's house, Elisha did not come out to see my master. In fact, he sent his servant. My master was angry. He thought that as utmost disrespect. Why wouldn't someone want to come out to meet a great man like my master? But Elisha sent his servant with a message to tell my master to go to that river, the Jordan River, and dip seven times, and he will be healed. Lord, I ask, Lord, that your guidance and your message will heal my master. Lord, I ask that my master will humble himself and go into that river. Please, Lord, please, so that he can be healed. Foolishness. Foolishness. Seven times? S sir. Speak. Had it been he had asked you to do something great, wouldn't you have done it? 
So what would it take you to do this simple task and dip yourself in the Jordan River to heal yourself? He's going in, he's going in, he's going in. Oh yes, praise God, praise God. He's going in guys, he's going in. Yes, thank you God, thank you. Yes, he's going in the river. Yes, yes. Yes, Lord, please Lord. He's stepping on. One. Yes, yes Lord, yes. Two. Please heal my master, Lord. Please. Six. Lord. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Yes, Master. Amen. I know you could have done it. Yes. 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 Amen. Master. I'm healed. Yes. You're healed. The God of Israel is a great God. Yes, he is. Thank you, God. Thank you. Wow. Naaman was excited. He was now healed. His skin was like a baby's. He called the servant girl. He showed her how beautiful his skin was. You remember what he was like before? Oh, he was full of spots and he was in pain. The servant girl heard his cries, his painful moans. And then she advised his wife to go for him to go and visit the prophet. And then the prophet told him to go and dip in this dirty river. You could imagine telling the captain to go and dip in a dirty river. He was appalled. He didn't want to do that. But his servant told him, listen, if he told you to do something great, wouldn't you have done it? So then Naaman decided, you know what? Let me give it a try. And look what happened. He was healed. He was cleansed. His skin was soft and beautiful. He obeyed. Despite the dirty river, he obeyed. Boys and girls, let us be obedient. No matter what the circumstances are wrong might be, let us be obedient. God will honor our obedience. He will answer our prayer and he will take us through. So remember, obedience. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your lesson with Naaman. Give us obedient hearts so that we can do your will. This we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye, boys and girls. <laughs>